Hello, my name is Kevin Rivera Cruz. My pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, I'm a second year inorganic PhD joint student in the Charles McCrory and Paul Zimmerman groups. Hi, my name is Lloyd Fisher. I'm a third year graduate student in materials chemistry. I'm from Albany, Georgia. Hi, my name is Taylor Bramlett. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm a fourth year PhD candidate in Dr. Adam Matzker's lab, and I'm also a part of the material chemistries cluster at the University of Michigan. My name is Professor Bart Bartlett. My personal pronouns are he, him, and his. I've been at the University of Michigan since 2008. I'm an inorganic and materials chemist looking at problems in how the atomic and uh, electronic structure of materials informs their chemical reactivity and physical properties for applications in energy conversion and energy storage. Hi, my name is Matthew R. Culberson. I'm a second year organic chemistry PhD candidate in the Wolf Group. When I was looking at chemistry programs, I stumbled upon Michigan chemistry and saw so many people of color in the department and that attracted me to Michigan chemistry, ultimately leading me here. My passion towards chemistry comes from all the great black mentors I had throughout my development, but especially from the mentorship and the high standards of education I received from my uncle, a chemical engineer who also inspired me to become and pursue a career in chemistry. My passion for chemistry actually stemmed from my passion of food, AKA I'm a foodie. So follow me at my food IG at Kim underscore Chef Tay. My interest in chemistry started at Darren State College. I transferred to Mercer University in Macon, Georgia, and started research under Dr. Joseph Kane. And from there, I figured out that research is pretty fun for me. So that's why I'm here. I've had many black mentors throughout my career, starting with my own dad, Charles Bartlett. He taught me the importance of education and uh, the importance of a work ethic. After he retired from steel manufacturing, he went and got his bachelor's degree just to show me and my younger brother that he wanted to practice what he preached in terms of the importance of, of higher education and, and bettering yourself. Um, I think about my high school principal, Betty Wheeler, my undergraduate dean at the College of Arts and Sciences at Washington University, Jim McLeod. And then I think about the black scientists that I got to know early in my career, um, Professor Paula Hammond at MIT, uh, who she's now the head of, of chemical engineering there. And I think about even in my own field of inorganic chemistry, Professor Greg Robinson at the University of Georgia, who's made huge impact in our understanding of chemical bonding and the main group elements. Uh, these are some of the people who have been role models to me in my lifetime doing science and, and, and just showing the importance of education throughout my career. When I started my first chemistry course in high school, I just I felt like chemistry was my niche. And so I applied to my undergrad as a chemistry major. And from there, I met my first black female professor and she encouraged me to apply to the University of Michigan. As a Puerto Rican with Afro-Caribbean descent, I honor Black History Month by paving, being grateful and paving respect to all the great black chemists and black scientists who came before me, who inspired me to become and pursue a career in chemistry. But particularly, I want to serve as a role model for those future generations of Black students who want to pursue a career in chemistry or in STEM in particularly. I got interested in chemistry in my undergraduate career at UC Davis, where my mentor, Rolf Untenliner, showed me everything and taught me everything about chemistry. Following that, I did organic chemistry research in Dr. Jared Shaw's group at UC Davis. Furthermore, I met Dr. Sidney Hill at UNC Chapel Hill and Dr. Richmond Sarpong at UC Berkeley, who end up being my role models and somewhat mentors that showed me what it looked like and how to get a chemistry PhD. The question of how I see myself as part of Black history is an interesting one. You know, it's something that I haven't really thought a lot about, but the question is pretty thought provoking because. I'm a black man and we're doing science that's gonna be part of the, the record long after I retire from my career. The papers will still be out there and future generations will still be able to read them. I'm actually really proud to be able to continue the legacy that my ancestors have set up before me. Um, I feel like my very presence as a first gen black 
PhD chemist just in my family is a staple of black history. And I hope to be able to continue to uh, exude all of the black excellence, you know, hashtag black and Kim, hashtag black girl magic. I honor black history in two ways, I think. First, I learn and study the facts that revolve around black history and share that with my black peers and non-black peers also. I also honor Black History Month by being in the position that I'm in and showing other black students or black scholars or non-scholars a pathway to success of what I deem to be success as I'm pursuing my PhD. I see myself as part of black history and the work that I do inside and outside the lab where I'm always advocating for my science and always advocating for my people. Hopefully with all the uh, emphasis that we're now putting on diversity and equity and inclusion uh, in the academic sector, that this will be an opportunity for new generations of scholars to see people who look like them, who are represented in the field, uh, and, and in, to, to create a welcoming environment where more people who look like me want to do chemistry.